The cutout tool removes backgrounds or isolates objects from images. Parts of images or layers with the cutout tool applied will become transparent, making content on the layers below it show through. You can then switch backgrounds or use isolated elements in other projects such as photo montages, digital collages, and more. Select it via the toolbar or tap the K hotkey. Before we start, let's understand the mechanics of the cutout tool. Under Mode are the options to either keep or remove. When active, keep is indicated by the color green. It will retain or restore areas of an image that is selected or brushed over. Remove, indicated by the color red, does the opposite and takes away areas. With that concept in mind, we'll explore the methods in which these modes can be put to use. The first method, Shape Cutout, offers a choice of six shapes to use. To demonstrate, we'll select Keep and the star from the Shape menu. With the crosshair as your guide, click and drag away from or towards the start point to control the size of the selection. The selection outline is green because the Keep mode is selected. This retains areas within the selection and removes everything else outside of its bounds. Release the mouse button to see the result. Now only the selected area remains while the rest is removed. With no layers underneath, the checkered background lets us know that the rest of the areas are transparent. While the Keep mode took away areas outside of its selection bounds, the Remove mode, indicated by the color red, clears out everything that's inside. To bring it back again, click on Keep and select the same area one more time. Here's a tip. Primary and alternate modes can be quickly switched by holding down the Shift key on your keyboard. So, if the Keep mode is selected, holding down Shift will switch to the Remove mode and vice versa. Softness determines how hard or soft edges on selections will be. None makes the edges of cutouts sharp and defined. Light and medium will result in softer edges to help isolated objects blend better. As you edit, feel free to experiment to see which setting fits your preference and requirements. The Hint Removed function will show a low opacity preview on parts of the image that have been removed. Invert Cutout reverses the initial selection of the cutout. Reset Cutout removes all changes and returns the image to its original state. Apply Cutout will confirm and apply any changes made. Magic Cutout selects pixels that have the same color or tone. Based on the color that was clicked on, the Tolerance slider controls the amount of color or tonal variation to include into a selection. The higher the tolerance, the wider the range. With a default tolerance value of 32, clicking on a blue area immediately selects and removes other blue pixels that fall within the current range of tolerance. When we try again with increased tolerance, it now affects and removes most of the background, since the range of blue is widened. Contiguous, turned on by default, would only select pixels of similar color and tone that are directly connected or touching each other. Due to this, if we clicked on the yellow on this pyramid, it would be the only one affected. However, when contiguous is turned off, similar yellow tones on the other shapes will also be selected. The tolerance option can also be used to determine the range of selection here as well. The Draw Cutout method retains or removes areas that are brushed over. It also offers better precision and control and is great for fine-tuning cutouts. 
The brush preview window will give you an idea of how the brush looks as the size and softness settings are adjusted. A brush with a harder edge is good when dealing with details, while softer brushes will be more suited for general brushing, blending, and transitions. It's always good to select a brush size and softness that is relative to the area that's being brushed over, or for what you are trying to achieve. The lasso cutout allows for free form selections. Simply click on a starting point and drag along the shape of the object to trace it. We'll make a rough selection as a demonstration. When the trace is somewhere near the starting point, release the mouse button to complete the selection. If the mouse button is released early, a straight line will automatically be created between the start and end points to close the selection. Don't worry, just pick up where you left off to add to the initial selection. Where required, switch between Keep or Remove modes to clean up the selection. AI Cutout is a premium tool that automatically detects subjects and images and removes the background behind them. It's able to reduce editing time and works best with images that have well-defined subjects. This image is a good example. There's a clear contrast between the subject and the background and the edges or outlines are defined. All that's left is to click on the AI Cutout button and the tool will do the rest. Once the cutout is ready, the brush and lasso functions can then be used to fine-tune it further where required. And that concludes our exploration of the cutout tool. At the end of the day, each cutout method will have its own respective features. And while some work fine on their own, they can be mixed and matched during the editing process. So feel free to experiment.